Hi there, friends. Today we have a double blessing because I have two, two actors right here in person in the studio. There is a brand new series coming out from Pure Flix called Eleanor's Bench. And we have Karen Abercrombie and Cameron Arnett, the two leads, to talk to us all about that series. So stay tuned. My name is Jean Thomason, and this is Momentum Influencers Network. You are going to be so glad that you took time today. I am honored and thrilled to let you know that we have two beautiful people in the room with us today, both of them on a brand new Pure Flix release coming out. It's a series called Eleanor's Bench. And here with us today are the two leads. Yay! We have Cameron Arnett and Karen Abercrombie. I'm thrilled to have both of you sitting next to me today. I am honored, I am honored to get a chance to meet both of you together. We've talked separately and yeah. by Zoom on, on a couple of things. Many of you will remember that Sweet Karen was in War Room. That's where we first met you, yes. right? Yes. And then they've been in um, An Angelic Christmas, mm -hmm. Heaven Sent, um, wait, you're Heaven Sent, Saved by Grace, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, too many more to um, talk about. But today, we're going to talk about <laughs> Eleanor's Bench. When I have seen just one episode of this series, and I'm thrilled because I'm excited to watch the rest. So please, Karen, let's start with you. How did Eleanor's Bench find you? Ah, uh, I had done a project with the writer mm -hmm. uh, years before, and um, Stephen Schultz, and at that time he was telling me a little bit about the project mm -hmm. and asked if I might be interested. I said, sure, just keep me posted. And once it was done, he sent me the script. And I, when I read the script, I definitely wanted to be a part of it. Absolutely. Mm. How did how did this project find you, Mr. Cameron? Well, you know, it's kind of like the same story in that we had a relationship prior, you mm -hmm. know, having worked with uh, Stephen before. and hearing about the concept, getting to read the script and seeing how well written, how well developed it was. And like you said, the trajectory of what is to come is such a beautiful thing. So uh, it was an easy one to, to say yes to. Well, the synopsis, as they tell me, and since I've seen a little bit, is that both of you are from an inner city in mm -hmm. the big city of Washington, D.C. Yes. And then Eleanor makes her way through a, an education mm -hmm. all the way to being appointed as a judge in a, a juvenile court judge. Well, actually, first, first. she was um, a top attorney at the oh. premier uh, law firm. And uh, she decided to step down. Oh, I see. To sit on the juvie bench. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's even. That's even. Yeah. Yes. A bigger call to do yes. something to reach out to yes. make a change. Yeah. In um. So um, how close to home is this for you personally? In in your interacting in your own lives that that your lives have been touched through that world of inner city um, challenges or even law. Is, are you have you been part of any of that? I've I've grown up, I guess it was close to inner city. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of the inner workings. And then uh, my family was a foster family for oh, many, wonderful. many, many oh, years. And so a lot of these stories, I know a lot of these kids, they were in my home. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. well, I was a, a pre med pre law student in college, wow. and so I understand that trek that Eleanor is going through because you're dealing with having that, you know, backyard perspective of the inner mm -hmm. city, that kind of thing, but yet matriculating through the process of education and having these goals and these dreams of where you're going to go and what you're going to do. And especially now being Christians, we have an opportunity to come back yes, to all those people that we've known and present the right way to go. So it's almost kind of like that same kind of ordeal or, or, or perspective or changes that she has to, choices that she has to make. Yeah. And what those other people now mean to your life that you've either had to leave behind and also now get to go back for and how does that work? So mm -hmm. all of it is just so interwoven into our lives as Christians, um, whether we were in that law area or not, right. but having those kind of choices that we've made that allowed us to go forward 
But now that we have to deal with other people that may have not made those same choices. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. I see that they put the word in there, chain breaker. So mm -hmm. when they say that, that, it's along those lines. Talk about what does it mean to be a chain breaker from the perspective of the characters of Reg and Eleanor. I did break the chain, my character. Yes, she did. But um, there are links that are still lying around me ah. with great value. Okay. You know, you don't allow some of that past to chain you down, but it doesn't mean that the parts of the link uh, that you were connected to at some point don't have value, even now even after now. you've uh, gotten wings and began to soar, you know. So um, for my character, oh yeah, she, she's going to have quite a few dalliances <laughs> 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 but, uh, in and around that chain. and. She's also going to start to put together bits and pieces, not the chain going in another direction, mm -hmm. but um, yeah. Yeah, I think Reginald and, and, and oh. Eleanor are, are in the same vein of almost being the same kind of person, but having mm -hmm. taken different routes, mm -hmm. you know, because Reginald has in him, he has remained within right. that, you know, street, you know, where, where she came from and everything else, mm -hmm. but he still made the same choices, but yet right remain. Right here, but he's still yep. there. Okay, I'm yep. going to become the change agent. I'm going to yes. become the breaker of all the chains yep, right in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. but I'm going to stay in the neighborhood to do it. And so he elevates his concepts, his perspectives, his his wares, if you would, mm -hmm. what he does, but he does it in a, in, a, in a way that people don't even really realize. Mm -hmm. And so he's effective, but you don't really even know what he's doing until it's too late. He's out, He's got you. You know, and so it's a, a, a very uh, complex kind of a character to which play. Which is wonderful. Which yeah. is phenomenal. And then when they come back together, then the complexity even gets a little deeper because you start to, how do we really find out who we are now with each other mm -hmm. and are we as much alike as we should be? You know, so there's a lot of things that are happening there. I love the whole, the trust factor was yes. something that I noticed in the movie that because you stayed, Reg, in the, in the, in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. people know you, they see you, they trust you, and Eleanor has moved out and up, and both of you are working to help the people there yeah. from your own perspective. So the, the ones that are closest are able to trust you mm -hmm. more, and they, they're a little suspect yes. of, of Judge Eleanor. Yes. So um, how, especially with working with your daddies talk in, the, in the movie, talk about how that, that was a sweet thing that brought you two back together. Well, <laughs> <laughs> because we grew up uh, right next door to one another, um, we've got this history that yeah. goes deep. Um, even to the point where I guess I can say we, we dated in high school. Mm -hmm. and, I picked up on that. Mm, <laughs> and um, Odd circumstances, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My father is, has always been rooting for this mm -hmm. and this. Right. You know, and I've fought that. But with daddy being there, the connection only stretched. It never really broke. Oh, got it. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. You know, I think what happens too is that upon her return, right. now, yes, the neighborhood kind of is kind of suspect mm -hmm. of her, but now she's kind of really suspect of me. Oh. So we've had the past, we've had the, but, you know, who have you become? Why are you still here? And what are you doing? What, you know, I hear and I understand that you're trying to help, but... Really, what kind of help is it? Mm. You know, so she's kind of suspect with me, and so it, it, it gets a little interesting. Yes. Yeah. I'm so glad that you have a series to be able to um, um, explore this and, yeah. and write the characters more deeply and really get to know them instead of sometimes a film is like big and splashy, but a series like makes you anticipate, yay, what's going to happen and how will that bring them together? So yes. it's beautiful writing already, I can tell, yes. after even mm. having only seen the first episode. How do you feel that this whole story will resonate with the audiences who watch this? I think that it will resonate and it with, with a huge demographic. Mm -hmm. And I think it's gonna be a surprise that it does Good. as well as it does. Because even though uh, we, we've got some people on the other side of the track, 
um, these days everybody's got mm. somebody. <laughs> yes. Or they know somebody, somebody. Yeah. who's on the other side of the tracks in one way or another. You right. know, like, oh, well, the drugs are over there. Well, no, the it's drugs. over here. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are everywhere. Yeah, I think, you, I think you, life you know, has, so has caught up to everybody. It, so. it has. It really you know? has across the board. Yeah. And so people are going to see themselves and um, get some real good look at themselves as they see yeah. these characters. Yeah, to and, and to Ooh. total agreement. I think right? that everything that happens to these characters and to the rest of all the people that are around yes. them, you know, it's universal. Mm. Life has caught up. Yes, it people has. People are all, you know, whether you're talking about drugs or you're talking about infidelity, whether you're talking about single parent families, whatever right. you're talking about, mm -hmm. it's not in a neighborhood anymore. It's in a global you're neighborhood. Right. It's Absolutely. global. It and so there's so much of that that hasn't always been told in that level playing field, if mm -hmm. you would, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. people are going to have to deal with it because it is. It is play, what it is. You know, now. So mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's going to resonate quite a bit. And, and, and uh, the writing, as we've already said, yes. is mm -hmm. so well done. Stefan has done such yes, a phenomenal he, yes, job with this that uh, I think it's going to touch a whole lot of people. And it's going to be a surprise as to being able to see God come through that kind Good. of a thing. Good. Yeah. My hope, even just just the little that I've seen, was thinking how I hope that I pray that this will inspire others to be as brave as Eleanor has been mm -hmm. to, um, to step up, to step out, to say, no, you know what? I can go somewhere else so that I can make an income so that I can help these people in a bigger way. Mm -hmm. And then also the people that are there, like the rest. That's what I was just going to really say. No, say. you can stand up and, and this, I can be mm -hmm. a man of integrity right here. Right I can here. help right, right where here. I am. Yep. yep. Yeah. Cause, cause going out and learning more, doesn't make you better than. No, it doesn't. And so that's part of the story as well. You can go out, you can you can grow, you can you can you know uh, evolve, but at the core, we're all human. Mm -hmm. And so whether I stand here, whether you go out there, there's still that human factor yes. that we all need help. And when you go out there, you find out there are other things that you get involved <laughs> in that you need help from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. You and go. so yeah. all of it is all encompassing, yeah. and, and it's yeah. just so well done. And mm -hmm. we are privileged to be a part of that. Yes. 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 What a blessing. So. Um, where can, where can our viewers see Eleanor's Bench? Oh, you can see it on Pure Flix yes. and the premiere. The premiere? Pilot, uh, June 30th. June, June 30th. 30th. That's, That's right. Right. June 30th. Right, really right around fun. the corner. Right around the corner. Well, Eleanor is not only the name of this beautiful character, but also her mother. Mm. And so not only does Eleanor, the judge, sit on a bench, Eleanor's mother, who's gone to heaven, yeah. also sat on a bench and loved the people in her neighborhood. Yes, she did. So yeah. there's this beautiful double meaning of yes. Eleanor's yes. The legacy. bench. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you so much for telling us about Eleanor's Bench, yes. June 30th premiere on Pure Flix. Don't forget to mark your calendars. You'll be ready for series, the, the beginning of the series, the pilot. Yes. And you'll get to meet both the character of Reg and of Judge Eleanor and her father as well and yes. some of the neighborhood um, situation. Thank you so much for taking time oh. to spend with us. I loved yeah. you being in person. Usually oh, we're on a Zoom you. call, so yeah. this is great. Well, this is we're wonderful. We're so honored to have you. And thank. By the way, can I just ask you, what's next? What What do you have next? I'm sure you've got something. Well, we have uh, plenty of. Go As a matter of fact, we have. Um, Angels unaware. Angels unaware. Oh, yep. That's also on Pure Flix, and it's the pilot that we've done together, which is a phenomenal work. Because for me, as a character, like, and I have to say this, I get an opportunity to play Lucifer. Oh yeah. Ooh. And to unpack him. And does he do it? Uh, so. <laughs> unpack him the way that the Bible says that he is today, and so it's yeah, an awesome. Yeah. And of course, so, so. my 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 phenomenal sister angel in, in charge <laughs> within this whole uh, spectrum of, of, of uh, uh, discovering mm -hmm. what God is doing now on the earth through the angel. This just, uh, yeah. people are not ready for this. It's oh. going to be beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're working that out and um, executive producer, uh, producer. Oh, congratulations. And we're excited yeah. to bring it and move that yeah, forward. Yeah, That's yeah. thrilling. That's, thank you for letting God use you in your art. Mm -hmm. I love to, to see how God takes all of us and it takes, it takes us all together to create art that will tell the it truth. Really yes. It really way, does. In every way, every day in every way, yes. we're, we're yeah. getting to share the love of the Lord God 
with others and tell them about Jesus. What an yes. opportunity. I see your Christ over career shirt. Oh, no yeah. doubt. You, you have to put him at the helm of every decision. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, it came out of me being in Hollywood and, you know, getting my first television series out there and then wanting me to do the whole partial body nudity. I left the business, left mm -hmm. the industry, never thought I'd be acting again. My wife and I, we passed it for two decades and then mm -hmm. God brings us back to the Christian side of filmmaking and we've had Christ over our career, over our lives Amen. ever since. And it's just a beautiful thing. Yes. yes. We, we, yes. We're, we're grateful. Yes. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. And thank you for taking time to get to hear what these beautiful friends have to say about what God is doing in and through them. And God bless you. We're God excited you. to see thank what you. he's going to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.